When it comes to the future world, many people first think of the scenes of Hollywood movies, buildings full of technological sense, dazzling technology, and very different lifestyles. In the Middle East, such a scene may be staged. In recent years, in order to get rid of dependence on the oil industry, Middle Eastern countries represented by the United Arab Emirates have sought diversified development and carried out various infrastructure upgrades. Cities of the future have sprung up like rain, with luxurious super seven-star hotels, huge shopping centers, and avant-garde and gorgeous art museums competing to land. Saudi Arabia, known as the most typical Islamic country in the world, has also joined this infrastructure army. In 2017, the young Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced to the world that a new city called Neom will be built. Neom is located on the northwest coast of Saudi Arabia, facing Egypt and straddling the Red Sea. It covers an area of 26,500 square kilometers, including residential areas, port areas, commercial enterprise areas and scientific research institution areas. The first phase of the 500 billion Neom New City project has been completed, and the results of the second phase will be announced at the end of this year. The first phase of the project includes economic concepts, financing and development roadmaps, and the second phase will reveal detailed plans for the 16 economic sectors of Neom New City. Neom is the Latin Arabic Neom Mustaqbal abbreviation for the new future. It aims to build a highly automated city that uses clean energy sources such as solar and wind energy by focusing on advanced industries and technologies. Recently, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia announced the plan for the future city to create a sci-fi linear city in Neom City in northern Saudi Arabia on the Red Sea coast. The plan depicts a people-oriented technology city blueprint that will create a new urban life experience for people. The overall length of the line project is about 170 kilometers, while the width is only 200 meters, covering an area of 34 square kilometers. In simple terms, it is to create a city that can accommodate 9 million people to live and live in two high walls with ultra-long mirrors. Although this sounds like the background of a science fiction novel, this is the idea put forward by the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia for his Neom Desert Super City project, redefining the concept of urban development and what future cities should look like. It is reported that the project may cost nearly 1 trillion US dollars. The first zero-gravity vertical city. The Lion Project extends from the Gulf of Aqaba in the Red Sea to mountain resorts and desert terrain. It spans three different regions, coastal deserts, mountains, and upper valleys. Each region has a different ecological environment, and each region can develop different projects according to environmental conditions. The height of the building is more than 500 meters, and it has a mirror facade. The surrounding scenery is reflected through the glass surface, which can produce a visual effect of combining reality and reality which is intended to fade into nature. This linear city covering an area of only 34 square kilometers will accommodate about 9 million residents, which is unprecedented compared with other cities of similar capacity. This means that the infrastructure footprint is reduced and the energy efficiency level of urban operations is higher than ever before. The line provides a new method of calculating numbers. The concept of vertically stratified distribution of urban functions, allowing people to travel seamlessly in three-dimensional space, is called zero-gravity urbanism. This project represents a groundbreaking model of sustainable development and the concept of living in harmony with nature. Unlike simple high-rise buildings, this design concept layered parks and pedestrian areas, schools, residences, and workplaces. The ground floor is a complete pedestrian area, without any roads or cars, and green nature can be seen everywhere. The second floor is a service area such as shops and other commercial spaces. The third floor is located at the lowest level of the city. It is the backbone structure of this linear city and belongs to the area of transportation of goods and personnel activities. People can reach all public facilities in five minutes effortlessly. Schools, residences, offices, parks, shopping malls, stadiums, community farms, all no longer need to occupy pieces of land, but can be reached by shuttling up and down. In addition, a high-speed railway will be built to shorten the travel distance between any two places to 20 minutes. According to the Wall Street Journal, the project was designed by Morphosis Architects, founded by American architect Tom May who has won the Pritzker Architecture Award, and a team of outstanding talents in the fields of architecture and engineering construction participated. 
Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman said. This project will solve the current challenges of human urban life and demonstrate a brand new way of life, subverting the traditional horizontal urban layout with vertically layered communities. The project will create a model for nature conservation and improving urban livability. The project plan will retain more than 95% of the original natural landscape, and residents can plunge into the arms of the surrounding nature at any time. The urban environment is carefully designed to achieve the best balance of sunlight, shade and natural ventilation. Moreover, the green and open spaces all over the city will provide a more comfortable experience for people who live, work and travel here. It is reported that the city will provide food to residents by vertical farming, automatic harvesting and packing. Residents pay to order three meals a day. They can shuttle between the two buildings through corridors, and there is a stadium 300 meters above the ground. There will be an arch between the two buildings, a pier under the arch for mooring yachts, and a high-speed railway will be built underground. In addition, through the full use of artificial intelligence and other technologies, the interaction between people and the city is truly realized. There will be no cars and roads in the new city while achieving zero carbon emissions and coordinating all urban services in a sustainable manner. People do not have to pay for car insurance, fuel, and parking, and can have more disposable income. The new city will incubate and accelerate renewable energy solutions through the world's largest hydrogen production plant. The goal is to go beyond zero carbon and enter the circular economy and promote change with future thinking. Linear urban design methods may solve the challenges faced by mankind in today's urban life and will illuminate another way of life. In the future, it will provide 380,000 new jobs and is expected to contribute 180 billion Saudi reals to Saudi Arabia's gross national product by 2030. The Saudi Crown Prince requested that the project be completed by the end of 2030, and he hopes that the building can be as classic as the Egyptian pyramids. However, a preliminary impact assessment in January last year showed that the line must be built in stages and may take up to 50 years to be completed. Is such an advanced idea really in line with the social reality of the country? As far as smart cities are concerned, is the ambition to create a green city in the desert really sustainable? No matter what the science fiction is, I have to say that the Saudi Crown Prince's idea is really worth looking forward to. Doubts and Concerns In the trailer, the designer promises that online is a carbon-neutral circle without cars, it will have its own temperate climate, and artificial intelligence will make life easier. A lush sky garden hangs from the 500-meter high glass wall in the city. Supernatural scenes occupy the pixelated glass blocks of the building. The outer wall is engraved with circuit board patterns. There is a deep canyon on the wall with terraces, swimming pools and picnic couples, all of which float on the high-speed railway line. After New Future City announced its sci-fi movie-like renderings, the building was questioned like a sea of mountains. The first thing that is questioned is its cost the project is too huge, and people doubt whether it can be realized in the end, and can Saudi Arabia really spend a trillion dollars to build this city? Although we all know that Saudi Arabia, which is rich in oil, has money, the ups and downs of international oil prices will also directly affect national income. It takes 50 years to do. If oil prices fall, such urban construction plans will inevitably be hit. Although it is said that it wants to be an environmentally friendly city, it is impossible to say that it is environmentally friendly to build a 170-kilometer mirror wall along the coastline. Giant buildings will change the flow of groundwater in the desert and restrict the activities of birds and animals. After experiencing the COVID-19 epidemic, would people be willing to live in such a dense and huge building? Crown Prince Salman, who invested in this project, declared that this will be what the city of the future will look like, zero cars, zero lanes, and zero carbon emissions. But is such a city the ultimate answer to high-density life, or is it a grand science fiction dream? The answer is far from being revealed. The future has come. This ambitious project was originally proposed in 2021 and is regarded as the core of its Saudi new future city plan. Now it seems that the future vertical city is moving from ideal to reality. Recently, a consortium composed of China Construction Corporation, Spain's FCC Company and Saudi SAJCO Company, and the future new city company which is wholly owned by the Saudi Sovereign Fund PIF came to carry out the pilot project the general contracting contract for the construction of the Saudi Transportation Tunnel Project. In the news reproduced by the China Chamber of Commerce for Foreign Contracted Projects, it shows that the contract amount is about $22.47 billion. 
The project includes two parallel high-speed passenger railway tunnels and heavy-duty freight railway tunnels, with a single line length of 15.75 kilometers. The main work content includes the excavation of the guide hole, and the main tunnel, initial support, waterproofing, secondary lining, and the construction of the partition wall. This is the largest transportation and public infrastructure project in Saudi Arabia. The pilot project of online is a necessary part and an important milestone to ensure that Neom continues to meet its development plan. In other words, the project is not just a utopian fantasy, it has recently started construction. Saudi Arabia has always had no shortage of crazy architectural plans, and it has also been famous for many of the world's few design buildings. After Saudi Arabia launched the Vision 2030 plan in 2016, the country has become the world's largest construction site. According to the Vision 2030 plan, Saudi Arabia will invest a total of 4.13 trillion reals in infrastructure and real estate projects. In addition to the upcoming construction of the new Future City Line, another eye-catching super-large project is the $220 billion Diria Gate project, which will provide 20,000 housing units for Riyadh when completed in 2027 and create a city-scale historic district. It is estimated that approximately $22.3 billion has been spent on the construction of the Diria Gate project. In addition, there is a planned 2.8 million square meter world-class office development project, and the $114.7 billion International Airport will also open soon. In order to provide residents with a world-class urban environment, Saudi Arabia has also spent $550.0 million to build the Riyadh Sports Avenue, $223 billion to build a green Riyadh, and planted 7.5 million trees in the Saudi capital to transform it into a green and vibrant metropolis. Saudi Arabia also plans to spend $113.8 billion to provide 19,000 hospital beds, of which $88.6 billion will be invested in Riyadh province. In addition, more than 80 new educational institutions are under construction, with a total cost of $882 billion. Of course, among so many super projects, there are also examples of unfinished. In 2008, the company of Saudi prince and billionaire Al Ali bin Tawil announced that it would build the world's tallest building, the Jeddah Tower, formerly known as the Kingdom Tower, in the port city of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The building was originally planned to be about 16 meters high, but because the local geology could not withstand heavy buildings, and building high-rise buildings in the desert was also a problem, it was reduced to 1,008 meters in subsequent modifications. When completed, it will surpass Dubai's 828-meter-high Burj Khalifa and become the tallest building in the world. However, the project that was originally expected to be completed in 2018 has been delayed. According to the UAE's El Pais, the project was shelved after one-third of the construction work was completed in 2018. The reason may be related to the engineering contractor, and there is still no news on when the project will restart. It is undeniable that the line is one of the most interesting and exciting infrastructure projects the world has seen in a long time. Its gorgeous appearance and bold and avant-garde imagination make it less like a building, but more like an overly idealized utopia. The inclusion of the inner line project on the agenda will write an end to the linear urban fantasy that has undergone many constructions and belongs to the margin of human architecture. It's just that it's unclear whether this ending is good or bad at the moment. So did you enjoy watching the video? Would you live in Neom once it has been built? Let us know in the comments don't forget to hit the like button below the video and click subscribe to stay on the top of our amazing stories from Top Amazing Studio.